Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today I'm going to be talking about Dungeons and & Dragons and the King Arthur 2017 movie. This video contains major spoilers for King Arthur 2017. Alright, now, uh, the King Arthur 2017 movie was an absolute train wreck commercially. It just released this weekend. It cost $175 million to make, and it made $14 million. It came in third on its opening weekend. It was defeated by Guardians of the Galaxy. No shame in that. It was defeated by uh, Amy Schumer's Snatched film. Excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, so <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> All right. It was uh, defeated by Amy, um, Amy Adams' Snatched film. And that is... Now, Amy Adams is an upcoming, um, is an up-and-coming, what's the right word, uh, movie star, okay? She is a movie star, and she's growing her brand, okay? Now, here's the issue. Snatched cost $42 million and was a very specifically targeted film. It's not a broad film. It's, it was not, it was, it was not even targeted at families, okay? Whereas... Uh, so it cost one quarter the amount that the King Arthur movie uh, cost, and it was, and it's arguable that its market was specifically honed to only go after because it was a rated R movie. Um, snatched. Uh, it was only specifically even targeted to go after a very specific demographic. So you know the fact that Snatched defeated King Arthur is, is really a victory of Amy Schumer, okay? But there was a lot at stake with King Arthur 2017. The health of, of Charlie Hunnam's uh, career. He played Jax in Son of, Sons of Anarchy. There's been a big question on whether he could be a movie star. He was in Pacific Rim. That movie did not really adequately answer that, that question. The career, The healthy career of Guy Ritchie, director of the Sherlock Holmes movies with, with Robert Downey Jr. Another, you know, that was at stake here. What was also at stake, okay? I would say two, I would say a few more things. One, fantasy, American fantasy films, all right? They've always struggled. We had a brief respite with, um, with uh, Harry Potter and with Lord of the Rings, both of those movies massively commercially successful got a lot of people excited that you can continue to make fan American fantasy films and it looks like you can't like you know if you have some special sauce one you know Harry Potter is really British it was very Americanized in the films but it's really a British fantasy film and and then also Lord of the Rings that is a standout novel that you know a series of novels that came out and actually established the entire fantasy genre. You know, it's it's really, um, you know, the fact that it was commercially successful has more to do with history than that Americans really like fantasy. And so there's just there's just a long line of of, of fantasy American fantasy films that have met a horrible ending. And now King Arthur is part of that is part of that list. The King Arthur 2017 movie was an attempt to start a franchise. Okay, if you look at the film. It is absolutely specifically tied together so that it, it, it will have sequels ready. They don't even introduce Merlin in the film. I mean, that, that's ridiculous. So, there was just so much at stake with, with this film. It was, it was bad. Uh, and, 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 it, and it did very, very poorly. So, here's the issue. This has got to be a clanging gong to... Warner Brothers, that the Dungeons and Dragons movie is even harder to do than they thought it was, okay? And it is. It's going to be a very tough sell, right? So, uh, here's the issue, okay? Right now, they're making a Dungeons and Dragons movie, and it's going to be like every other fantasy movie. It's just going to be, hey, here's a dungeon, here's a dragon, here's your adventurers, we're adventuring, right? It's a terrible idea. You cannot do this with Dungeons and Dragons. The story of Dungeons and Dragons is the players and the player characters and the, the dungeon masters. 
the dungeon master, the players, the player characters, and the non-player characters. There should be two worlds in a Dungeons and Dragons world. In the Dungeons and Dragons movie, there should be Earth, our world, where things are going on at the table and in the lives of the players. And there needs to be a Dungeons and Dragons world where there are things that are going on with the player characters and the non-player characters, and we need to see them linked. That is the passion of Dungeons and Dragons. When a young man who's in college decides, I'm going to break up with my girlfriend, okay? And then that night when he's playing Dungeons and Dragons, uh, he, you know, he has his paladin lay down his sword and say, I forsake my deity. Those two things are bound together. They're linked, right? And that's the pathos. That's the type of story you can tell with Dungeons and Dragons that you cannot tell with a fantasy novel, okay? And King Arthur, now, what I'm saying right now, I said months ago in a in an article on NerdArchy.com, and I also said it in an open letter that you'll find on this very YouTube channel to Warner Brothers saying you need to fix this script. I am reiterating that. I am echoing my sentiment. They have to fix the script. They cannot deliver a bog standard fantasy story with with Dungeons and Dragons. It will fail. And the reason why is King Arthur 2017 is show, clearly, clearly showing that. It's just it's so clear. Okay. Um, and uh, and honestly, the, the evidence is so strong. Okay. So I, I just really feel that I'm just calling for Warner Brothers to look at what's happening and make a decision. And and they, they you know you got to rogue you have to rogue one this okay you're in the middle of it I really believe that Warner Brothers wants to do the best thing they can do with this Dungeons and Dragons movie they are dedicated to making this work right and my concern is they absolutely have to uh, to change the script and, and 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 put this in two worlds put it on Earth and put it on. Um, and put it in the Dungeons and Dragons world, and so and there is and, and that's the key is this is the only way to do it. And the reason why is there are currently no more than maximum three million active Dungeons and Dragons, Dragons players in America. Okay, and you know maybe you have a few more in the world overall, but that's going to be the meat of the market, right? That's not that's not nearly what you need to make a successful film. Okay. So you got to show them something different. You have to bring something with the Dungeons and Dragons movie that has never been done before, not in any fantasy movie. And the game itself gives the structure. Okay, it's absolutely critical that the script gets changed right now, right now. And honestly, I don't have any guilt telling them to to, to, to change the script. And the reason why is if it is now. Okay, they they invested 175 million dollars to make King Arthur, and they were and they made 14 million. They were 100 percent right to invest that money. They were writing their own lottery ticket. If King Arthur had been successful, it would have been a billion to a three billion dollar intellectual property that would have spanned three, five, seven movies. That's what it takes to do a franchise. 175 million dollars is saying we want to launch a franchise. We're serious about this. We want King Arthur on your Cheerios. That's what you do, right? Dungeons and Dragons is in the same world. They're trying to accomplish the same thing, okay? And so they need, um, you know, if you invest the money now, I really believe that where Dungeons and Dragons is right now is we are looking at Dungeons and Dragons the way people looked at, at Marvel in the 70s and 80s. No one saw its value. No one saw that it was going to be a multi-billion dollar intellectual property. Dungeons and Dragons is a multi-billion dollar intellectual property, but it has to be managed correctly. You need to bring out what's special about that intellectual property and say, we're going to show you a story that can't come from any novel, that can't come from any television show, that, that you've never seen in any movie before. And the game allows that structure, so it's really critical. So... I, you know, I'm kind of double, doubling down on what I've said previously. The script for the Dungeons and Dragons movie, it's absolutely critical. It has to be changed right now and split into two worlds. The Earth world, our world, with DM and player, and the player character and non-player character. It's unique. It's never been done. And it will work. Right? Because it'll, it'll appeal to millennials, which the game desperately needs. And we can show millennials playing, Right? Um, which Hollywood will do an amazing job at that, right? Um, and, you know, it, it's desperately, desperately needed. 
and I feel absolutely validated saying this again, you know, to Warner Brothers because King Arthur was an absolute commercial train train wreck. So if you think you're gonna you're gonna be successful, and, and you know what, that movie had great acting, great pacing, great um, great special effects. Everything in it was rock solid, except the writing. The writing was terrible, and um, and it was an oversight. And it was a lot of people thinking that they were going to be able to just serve up pablum and it was going to work. And that you can't do that. So please, Warner Brothers, I'm begging you, please change that script right now. Rogue One, this sucker. You can do it. Pull it out. Thank you.